he made the statement to the effect that, uh, well, I'll tell you guys this, probably somewhere around 75 to 80 percent of you end up right here in Sheridan. And of course we all laughed. And you know, you start counting backwards right now and you look how many people live pretty close to Sheridan. We aren't far off of that number in reality. For some reason we've migrated back and we're close by, we're not very far away from Sheridan. So there must be some ties here that keep us bound together, which is good. I think it's Northwest Oregon. Northwest Oregon, yes. <laughs> That's a different group entirely different. <laughs> okay, anybody else want to share something? So bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to kind of tag on to that because I, I feel bad for the current and coming up generations who don't have what we have. There's no chance. I'm not sure how times change. But if you think about it, if we look around, we knew each other's parents. And, you know, and we just kind of know that, oh yeah, that person's a hostel, or oh yeah, that person's a smith. I mean, it's just, we knew the, the families that had always been in our community. And it was such a precious time. Of course, we struggled against it at the time, but we're really, really lucky to have had that stability, which is why there are so many people turning out here, I think. That's the first part of my message. Second part is a kind of housekeeping. Um, I have a need for a little help this evening. Um, most of you know that I'm a conductor, and I use my hands a lot, which I did to tip my entire bot glass of Cabernet into my lap this evening as I sat down. I'm wearing a white skirt.